Hello, this is Roger Weston. Many years ago, I wrote a book called The, the Assassin's Wife, which was a bestseller for a long time on Amazon, one of the best-selling books in its genre. It was called The Assassin's Wife. And tonight I want to talk about a different assassin's wife. The book I wrote was a fictional story. I'm going to talk about a real story, about a real assassin's wife. And it's a tragic story, uh, but it's also a story of incredible heroism and martyr, martyr, and martyr. So the story, the story is about Nikolai Koklov. Nikolai Koklov was a, he was a Smirsh, a Smirsh, Russian Smirsh assassin back in uh, the 1950s. And uh, this was a time when in the West, allegedly, uh, they didn't even know Smirsh existed. And Koklov uh, was given a mission to assassinate um, Oak, uh, Igor Oklovich, who was a, a member of a group who was basically uh, uh, pro, uh, using anti-Soviet, anti-communist uh, propaganda and doing damage to the communists. And so Koklov's job was simply to assassinate uh, Oklovich and, and uh, put an end to his troublesome, his meddlesome uh, activities. And so now now, um, Koklov, the assassin, had married uh, Yanina, his young, beautiful uh, wife, Yanina, who was a, an engineer and uh, a Roman Catholic, which was part of the, uh, a very important point in the story. She was a Catholic in Russia. This is a time when all religion was banned in Russia. Lots changed in Russia these days. It's uh, not like that from, from what I understand. But uh, back then... Uh, <laughs> You had to have a lot of courage to be, uh, I mean, priests were sent to prison and never heard from again. Um, Christians and Catholics were beaten to the edge of death on a regular, on a regular basis. Uh, and the fact that they had, the fact that they had freedom of religion in the constitution was completely irrelevant because the reality was if you were, you know, they had what was called the underground church because you weren't going to, um, you know, you were going to pay a hefty price and possibly you're, pay with your life if you were found out to be a Christian or a, a Catholic. But somehow Yanina's family had managed to maintain their faith. And uh, Nikolai Koklov had married her. And Nikolai the assassin had married her. And now he's sent on the, he's got this new mission to kill um, Oklovich. And he told, you know, you know, after he married Yanina, his conscience had kind of awoken and he had started to regret the fact that he was a Smirsh assassin. And he told Yanina about this mission that he had to kill this, this Oklovich. And uh, Yanina said, look, if you're going to, if you kill, if you carry out this mission, you're a murderer and I cannot be married to a murderer. And Nikolai says, look, oh, and she said, look, you need, what, what you need to do is go on this mission, but I want you to defect because he would have to go to Germany for this mission. And, and while you're there, you need to defect. And Nikolai says, Yanina, if I defect, you know what will happen to you and our children. And she says, I know. And that does not alter my decision. So Yanina was putting her life in her hands at this point. Uh, you know, she's essentially, um, you know, the most likely outcome for her is is prison or worse. Um, possibly people like that just disappear. Never heard from again. So Oklovich, he wasn't going to have his wife unless he defected because she wouldn't have him as, a, as an assassin. So he goes to Germany on this assassination assignment. And when he gets there, he knocks on the door and he tells the, the target who he is, he says, "Look, I'm, I've been sent here to assassinate you, but uh, but I don't want to do this. I want to de I want to defect. Help me." And so he was taken to the embassy, and he was he defects to the to America. And after that, he tries to through diplomatic links, he tries to negotiate for his wife to be sent to join him. Well, that didn't happen. His wife and his children, his 14-year-old, his 
children were sentenced to prison along with his wife, five-year sentences in prison. And as best as I could tell, he never heard from his wife again. So it's a tragic story about incredible courage of, of uh, Yanina, who sacrificed her life for her husband, who, to his credit, went on and uh, he, he waged his own war against, against uh, the communists and uh, survived an assassination attempt against him personally at, uh, at a later time. So anyway, there, that's the story of the assassin's wife, a woman who was a woman of faith who sacrificed her life uh, for her husband. So there you go, the story of, of uh, Yanina. All right, thanks for watching. God bless. Fight on.